We're going live. We're going to give it a few seconds. <laughs> Please get him. Posturing isn't available for right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is Facebook live? Yeah, we're live on Facebook. Hey, Facebook. We'll be with you momentarily. Having some technical difficulties. Are we live right now? Yeah, yes. but... Oh. I'm just cleaning up the couch over here. Yeah. Let's try this. All right, we okay. fixed it. like people are getting on now. I think we're good to go. Uh, Kevin Isaac's making an appearance today because right. daycare's closed. Wave to everybody, Kevin Isaac. Say Can you wave to everybody? Say hi. Say hi to them. <laughs> All right. A couple things that if, I think we had a couple of buffering issues yesterday. So if you missed anything from yesterday, I just want to let you know, we're going to be live tonight for Wednesday night worship at 6.30. Uh, Pastor Jamie's preaching Sunday morning. Uh, Pastor Steve will be preaching at uh, 8, 9, 30, and 11. You can get on and watch it uh, from the website just like you've been doing. Uh, that seems to be working really great, so I appreciate you connecting there. Also wanted to tell you, if you have uh, preschool children or junior or senior high students, uh, Pastor Tim, Pastor Jeremy, Pastor mm -hmm. Kathy are all doing videos on their Facebook pages and their YouTube channels. So if you want to get to that, you can go to hillview.com slash kids, hillview.com slash students, and uh, check all that out. Um, I think that's it. I didn't make notes today. I'm just shooting from the hip. So let's sing together, and then uh, Pastor C is going to share a word with us. Ready?
Steve. You're not a. You wear a different shirt every day. I do wear a different shirt every day. You Everybody's been noticing how Jamie wears the same shirt. Well, place for all people. Well, here's the thing. We right. wanted we wanted to keep things as normal as possible. Right. And so Jamie wears the same shirt every day, every day anyway. It's great. So, yeah. Great. yeah. Hey, it's uh, great to see everybody, and, and uh, I can see you in my mind and in the spirit and wherever you are today. Uh, as we go to the Lord in prayer uh, immediately, uh, I just want to have a, a special prayer for all of our healthcare workers. Uh, church, this is making a difference in their life. We're getting emails. I got, I got a beautiful email from one of our nurses in the congregation. Uh, they're right in the face of this virus. And so we want to pray right now that there be a supernatural protection especially for our healthcare workers in New York where, where the virus is, is definitely uh, in its great intensity and we do not have the protective gear starting to run out on those issues. So it, it, let's just pray for a supernatural covering right now. Lord Jesus, we just want to lift up healthcare workers. Lord, we pray uh, right now very, very pointedly for all the healthcare workers that make up our congregation. The nurses, respiratory techs, uh, staff in the hospital, the doctors, Lord, we pray right now just a supernatural covering over them. Lord, we trust you to protect them because you are ultimately our protection. So, Lord, we just pray over them right now. Uh, ease their spirits and their soul as fear and anxiety uh, could have a place in their life. Let the doctors, the nurses, the healthcare workers that believe in you be a light in the midst of chaos. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, a couple of things I'm recommending for you. Remember, a psalm in the morning, a proverb in the evening, stay to your daily Bible reading, just some things I want to remind you of midweek. God is not surprised. God is in charge. God has not left the world. God is still the same God he was yesterday, today, and will be. So, as we deal with a situation that has made us uncomfortable, I'm going to pray that you learn to pray. Let your anxiety lead you to God's truth. Now, God has called us as a people, those who are redeemed, we have been made to be anxious about nothing. Anxious about nothing. And so this checks to see whether you believe it or say it. You see, I believe if this is my last day on this earth, guess what? It is my first day in a great glory that, it, that nothing, I believe what the Bible says, nothing on earth compares to the glory of God. And so may we stay focused on the glory of God. Now that's not pie in the sky thinking. That is the reality of a believer. Let me take you to Psalm 40. Psalm 40. So this afternoon, listen to what the Lord says. I wait patiently. For the Lord. So may, may our patience increase in this moment of our life. He inclined me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction out of the miry block. He has set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. Let's just give him thanks right there for just a moment. If you're in Jesus Christ, you know that your sins are forgiven. You know that the Holy Spirit dwells fully in your life. You know that you're full of the power of God. I want you to hear. Hear that song. My feet, David said, my feet. You, oh God, make my feet secure. So in a moment, it, uh, a moment of uncertainty, you and I get to participate in surety. You've made my feet sure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. I pray that this moment of a global birth pain, it's a birth pain. Obviously, as a pastor, I've had people, you know, ask me, Pastor Steve, is this the end of time? Is I said, oh, no, 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 no. Listen, th this, is a, this is a birth pain compared to what it'll be when, when God finishes it out. But there will be that day. Now, guess what? There should be no worry. There should be no anxiety. Because guess what? If you trust in the Lord, you put your life in the Lord, then you can be sure. Blessed is the man who who makes the Lord his trust. Now, 
hear me, who does not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after a lie. Folks, we're in a moment where we can't fix it. No man can fix it. No government can fix it. We can do our best to, to make sure we don't spread it, but we can't fix it. So I pray every day to the Lord of hosts, first of all, that we will learn from this moment of history as the church. Secondly, that we'll come away from the truth of God and participate, it for the re and participate in it for the rest of the days of our lives and that we will be the new song. We'll be the new song until God finishes this world. You have multiplied. O oh Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us, none can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell of them, yet they are more that can be told. So in this day, even though you can't reach out and touch somebody, you can reach out and tell somebody. Tell them that God has a plan. Tell them that man has a problem. We are sinners in need of God's grace. Then tell them the greatest news of all. God sent Jesus into the world so that all of us might be saved. And then tell people to receive the grace of God. Tell them to repent of their sins and to receive the glory of God. And they can be sure that heaven has entered their life. And this world no longer has command of their destiny. Till we meet again, trust in the Lord and know God is in this situation.